We're going to be looking at a throttle, replacing a throttle cable on a Yamaha Grizzly 550 and the 700s are going to be the same. We're up here at the throttle housing itself. We've got the switch and the wires to the switch will run down the handlebars and go in behind the dash. So if you need to replace that switch, you can do it separately than the actual housing itself. Now to replace the cable, pull these three uh, top Phillips screws here and I've already loosened them up for the sake of time. And then underneath of this cover is going to be a rubber seal. You want to make sure that that seal is properly in place when you're going back together. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do if you're replacing that cable is uh, there's a lock screw uh, right here. You're gonna to wanna to loosen that up. And that's actually gonna pull the cable out of the housing once you get it unhooked. Now this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge to do one-handed, but you take now take that cable and uh, pull it around here and pull it out of this groove there. And it just kind of snaps. Now when you start pulling this, it'll pull the entire cable out of there. And I'll do that. Uh, quick uh, so you can see what that looks like and then we're going to go down to the throttle body and I'll show you what it looks like down there. That's a little bit harder to get to. We've already pulled the left hand cover. There the cable is out. So that's what the cable looks like on that side. Now we're going to go down to the throttle body itself and uh, like I said it's a little bit more challenging. You've got um, three, uh, three millimeter bolts to remove this cover and I'll do that quick. And then underneath of there will be the throttle. This is the th on the throttle body itself. So this cover is attached to the throttle body. If you're getting into the throttle body, you will want to uh, remove air box. Uh, you can see injectors and stuff like that. Do the same thing on this side. Open up this butterfly here, and then the cable will have some slack in it. Then I take that pick then, and I'll, um, and I'll try to do it in a way that you can see it. Take that pick then and pull it out pull the cable out there. And once we get that out, I haven't done that quite yet, but they've got a cable here, eight millimeter and a 10 millimeter. You'll take and do the same thing here, totally unscrew that. That throttle cable will actually come out um, of the end of this. And it's just got to pull it out of that groove there and then it's got a little brass fitting on the end there. So that's what that looks like. Then once you've got the eight millimeter loosened, you can go ahead and just unscrew this and that entire throttle cable will come out the end of there you go there it is out there now you can just pull that throttle cable up it follows that steering stem up to your handlebars kind of sits in front of in between the air box and the steering stem so it doesn't go up behind the dash like the rest of your cables there and you can just pull it up through there and then fish it down when you're going back together then it just runs right up alongside the handlebars thanks for watching if you have any questions please uh, let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe and like this video if you found it helpful. Thanks a lot.